Hello everyone and welcome back to Fun Mythology. Now today's topic is how to construct an angle of 45 degree in a new way or in a another way. Okay, so we have as usual I have made two partitions or two halves. In the left half we'll see how to draw an angle of 45 degree in an usual way or in the fastest way and in the right we'll see the new way okay or the new technique. So let's start. Students, what do you need? You need a protractor so that you can check it whether the particular angle is correct or not after you know constructing it. So you need a compass, okay, and obviously you need a ruler. Okay, I'm using uh, a sketch pen instead of pencil, but you must use pencil. I'm using it because it will uh, give us a better visibility. Okay, so let's start with the drawing an angle of 45 degree, okay, in an usual way or in a familiar way okay so in order to do that see you need a line segment or a line so i have drawn a line okay ao is the line or o sorry it's a it's a ray and o being the vertex okay so what do you need to do so choose any radius of your choice okay any radius of your choice point the needle to the vertex that you have decided like o okay and draw a half half circle arc okay intersecting oa at certain point right see so mark the intersection point okay don't change the radius you know draw another arc intersecting the main arc got it see now point this intersection point the needle to this intersection draw another arc intersecting this is a second arc okay now you have two arc intersecting the main arc right so what do you need to do? Do not change the radius. Point here in the first intersection will draw two intersecting arcs. Okay. So you have drawn an arc. Point this to the second intersection. Point the needle and draw another arc. It will form an intersection arc. Right. Now join it. You will get what? You will get a 90 degree. Right. So it's a very simple way of drawing 90 degree. Okay. So point the intersection point. So here, this is the vertex, okay, and just join it, just join it, okay. So let's draw an arrowhead, okay, name it as B. So angle A, O, B is a 90 degree, okay. So angle A, O, B is equal to 90 degrees. So we have constructed and you know it is the fam familiar way and is the fastest way of drawing and constructing a 90 degree. Okay. So let's see. See it's 90 degree. Now what to do? So you need to do a 45 degree, right? So what do you need to do? Just do an angle bisection of 90 degrees. So if you divide 90 by 2, what happens? You get 45. So see, Again, do not change the radius. You don't need to change the radius. See, point here in the first intersection, right? Like the main arc intersecting at OA at certain point, point the needle, okay? So just draw an arc here. Got it? And see, in this OA, the main arc is intersecting at certain point. So point it. And here, see, you get a second intersection. And now you join it. So what has happened? I have just bisected this 90 degree and you will get what 45 degree. So mark the intersection point. Okay, point to O and join this. Okay, let's name this as C. Now what you will have? Now this is 45 degree. So angle AOC is 45 degree got it so let's check it out with the protractor see between 40 and 50 it's 45 right now see 45 it's 90 it's 0 and this is 45 so this is the easiest way and the familiar way to draw an angle of 45 degree now let's let's come to the new technique okay or a new way or another way of drawing 45 degree okay but if you are if you're not given a choice always use this particular process this is the fast fastest way of drawing 45 degree and the easiest way okay now in the new technique i have already 
constructed a line segment AB of 5 cm. Now we will use what? We will use the concept of isosceles triangle, right? So you know it. I'll just draw here a rough construction of isosceles triangle. In an isosceles triangle, you know the two sides are equal and the base angle are equal, okay? So if I mark this as ABC, isosceles triangle where AB and AC are equal, hence angle ABC and ACB are equal. You know the property of isosceles triangle. So if let's say this is 90 degree, if this is 90 degree, what will happen to these measures? Automatically this will be 45 and this will be 45. So our, our intention is to draw a 90 from here and mark 5 centimeter. So this one will happen what? This and this will be equal. If I join them, this will form an isosceles triangle. Hence, the base angle will automatically become 45 degree. So let's do it. Okay. So what do you do? In a very similar way, draw a 90 pointing the needle to A in a similar way. I'll just to reduce a bit the radius. See, uh, in a very simple way. Okay. Just you have seen it. Okay. I'm not just repeating. Just watch it. Okay. Here we'll draw the intersection. Now let's join uh, and it's a point the intersection. Okay. Point the intersection and point the A and just. Okay. Now see, this is 90. Now this is 90. Now let's measure, you see this is 5 centimeter, okay, so let's measure 5 centimeter from here. So let's measure 5 centimeter from here. So this one will be what? This one. Okay, so this one, let's say A, B and this one is C. So Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. This one is approximately 4 cm. Sorry. So, this one will be 4 cm. Sorry, students. This one will be 4 cm. Let's mark here. So, this is not. So, let's mark it as C. So, this is 5 cm and this is 5 cm. Let's join C and B. So, let's join C and B. So what will happen? See, this side is equal to this side now and this is 90 degree. Okay. So AB is equal to AC and this is 90 degree. So what will happen to this angle and this angle? The measure of this angle will be now equal to 45 degree and this one will be 45 degree. Okay. So now what we have done is we have, draw, uh, we have constructed a 90 degree as usual in a line segment AB 5 centimeter. Now, once we have drawn or constructed 90 degree, what we have drawn? We have constructed marked 5 centimeter from A to C and we have joined the other side of the triangle and the triangle thus formed is an isosceles triangle. This is 5, this is 5 and this is 90 degree. Hence, the base angle will be equal and equal to 45 degree. So, let's measure this with the protractor. Okay. You see? between 40 and 50, 45. So automatically it, it will become 45. Okay. So it's a very interesting way of constructing uh, 45 degree. If you like it, you can practice at home. Okay. I guess you have followed my lectures today, students. Oh, thanks for watching and thanks for giving your valuable time to me. So I'll bring many construction videos later on. So keep watching them. So thanks for watching again. Have a great day. Bye-bye. We'll soon meet.